Here, the question is: Consider the following high-level program design and assume you can provide the values for today, A, B, and C. Which of the following sets of values will achieve 100% decision coverage with the least number of test cases? The order of the values is today: A, B, C. And then these options are provided. Now let's analyze the code to get the correct answer. First line is just a start, so no need to put it in graph. Second line is do until b equals to c. It is a condition, so we will represent it like this. I want to mention an important point here. Since our objective is to find the decision coverage, I am representing this as normal condition. The third line is if today equals to Monday. This is a condition, so we can represent it like this on flowchart. If the condition becomes true, line number four, set a equals to one will execute. Since it is a statement. We can represent it like this. Line number five is else if. It will execute when the condition becomes false, and we can represent it like this. If this condition fails, we have to evaluate this condition. And if this condition becomes true, line number six and seven will execute. Set a. Equals to two and b equals to c. Since both are statement, we can represent it like this on the flowchart. Eighth line is and if. Here, the condition on line number three ends, and we can represent it like this on flowchart. Line number nine is if b is smaller than c. It is a condition, so we can represent it like this. If this condition becomes true, line number B equals to B plus one will execute. And since it is a statement, we can represent it like this on flowchart. Line number eleven is end if, and line number twelve is end loop. And we can represent it like this on flowchart. Last line is end. It's not required to put on a graph. With this, the flowchart is complete. Now the question is, which of the following sets of values will achieve 100% decision coverage with the least number of test cases? The order of the values is today, A. B, C. To answer this, we have to analyze each of the option one by one. This is option A, and it has four test cases, where first element represents today's day. A, B, and C is represented by second, third, and fourth element. One important point before we start the analysis: remember, this is a do while loop. In do while loop, the do condition executes at the end; it does not execute at the start. So, we will always start with this condition. Test one is Monday, one three three. Today is Monday. So this condition will become true. Next set A equals to one will execute, and since B equals to C, this condition will fail. So, this is the path we will cover by test one. Now let's analyze test two. Monday, three, two, four. Today is Monday, so this condition will become true. 
next set a equals to 1 will execute. And since b is less than c, this condition will become true. So, this is the path we will cover by test 2. Now, let's analyze test 3. Wednesday, 1, 2, 3. Today is Wednesday here, so this condition will become false. So, we will go to the else part of the code. And since today is Wednesday, this condition will become true. Next set A equal to 2, and set B equals C will execute. Since B is now equal to C, this condition will fail. So, this is the path we will cover by test 3. Now let's analyze test 4. Tuesday, 5, 4, 3. Today is Tuesday here, so this condition will become false. So, we will go to the else part of the code. This condition will also fail as today Tuesday and not Wednesday. And since B is greater than C, this condition will fail. So, this is the path we will cover by test 4. Now, we can see that all the decisions are covered. So, Option A is the answer.